make sure there's nobody there. Okay. So we all good? Yes. We're online. All three of them. Yay! Yeah. Sweet. Welcome everybody. How's it going? Hey. hey. You're still alive. And tonight we are going to be playing Deadlands. Classic. I don't know if the uh, campaign that we'll be finishing or running tonight, not finishing, but running or playing is Brad's campaign. Oh, we all die. We could finish it. We all die. We're done yeah. for. I'd like to take a minute and explain what's going on, maybe give a... a yeah, we had a recap, so... <laughs> Uh, if you remember correctly, you guys were in Memphis, got a telegram from Philip Monroe. Uh, it was kind of garbled. Apparently something had happened to it. Maybe possibly gremlins got into the telegraph and changed the world all around. But when you figure it out, uh, it seemed sounded like a warning not to come down to Nanchez to help him out. He said, uh, Purdy knew all your names and he knew who you were. Uh, and so despite that, you all decided to go down to Nanchez anyway, and, uh, took the boat down there, and that's when you <laughs> ran into some gunfire along the river, and it turned out there was a group of uh, bandits that belonged to Sam Purdy, and they were trying to raid a town, and the marshal had gotten off, went after him, and, uh, then you guys kind of joined up with the marshal, and you went to go visit, uh, cottage of a girl of a woman that lived in that area and uh apparently she was kidnapped by us uh, another part of the gang and you guys uh did some stuff you found a journal there were some journals in a reference to uh her being into the practitioner uh mentioned a couple of people in there um you guys eventually went on to Nanchez. Uh, you spoke with uh, Marshall Payton. Uh, you spoke with Miss Dan Dambia, uh, who was the uh, voodoo lady down in that area. Um, you found that she had been hit over the head. And she was unconscious when you guys arrived there. Apparently, someone had stolen some stuff from her. And then, uh, then there was a young kid, supposedly. And maybe an initiation was supposed to kill her. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, he had only knocked her on the back of the head. Um, she basically kind of explained that some of the stuff that was taken uh, would have been stuff for a Gris Gris bag. Uh, remember something that would uh, steal the power from some, from like an abomination or something like that. Yeah. But it seemed a little bit slightly different. There were some ingredients that uh, she wasn't too sure about. Um, then she pretty much uh, said she would kind of help you guys out. She would give you some stuff uh, basically before you went to go out of town, before you left town or something, uh, to check back with her. Uh, you guys had talked to uh, Peyton, Marshall Peyton, um, where you found out the two of them were kind of working together because they both had a case. He has some uh, infants and children that are disappearing from town. And they thought the two might be connected since Pretty was kidnapped, would kidnap women and enslave them and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but then they kind of figured out they were two different MOs. Uh, and so he kind of. Uh, can't remember. That's pretty much all you got from him. Um, you guys went to the telegraph office and you kind of talked about that night with a storm. Um, and then he kind of told you that uh, Philip Monroe had ordered some, had had some stuff sent from uh, San Angelo uh, over to the shipping uh, business there. Uh, you guys went and talked to that guy for a little bit. He didn't want to. He knows where Philip Monroe's house was that he was renting out, uh, but he wouldn't tell you. But Peyton, Marshall Peyton, and then uh, Marshall Woodlong, they both went down there and basically kind of smooth things over. Um, I think that was about it. Oh, when you guys went to the gun store, there was the uh, Prussian, yeah. the, the short guy, uh, Henry McAverman, and he basically sold you some weapons. Uh, and I think at that point, okay. I think at that point, you guys decided that uh, it was getting late, so you guys were going to stay over in town uh, before going any further.
Well, she moved more. Mike and I have a feet in the show. But he's not going to me. So, uh, oh, you guys went and got horses at the stables. Um, basically, they'll just hold them there for you. Uh, anything else? Any questions you guys had before we start? Where did these from? Oh, that's a good question. I've been just seen a stork flying through the air and have a little basket and inside is some pickles. Yeah, I'll show you what to do. Just have some Yes. What did you do in the pickles? Now, first, you take out the money. I think you, uh, like you all had in up back at the uh, Marshall Payne's office there. Uh, so we'll just kind of pick up there. So I'll leave it up to you guys. So back to Marshall's office in the same day? Uh, it is in the uh, late afternoon. So I think it, I can't remember what I said before we last time, but I think it's like four o'clock. <laughs> well, so I can go in. Yeah, use river. Oh, man. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. 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 Go ahead, Well, I'm not going in the marshal's office yet. So. Oh, that's right. You were never going in the marshal's office. I'm going to hang out because I don't know how far south I'm wanted. Okay, so you're probably hanging out north, across the street. North and south, are you? No, but I was down in this area a long time. Well, what did you do? Actually, I got married. I settled down and got married. Yeah, okay. And she was killed, and I slaughtered a bunch of people. So, you yeah. know. And then she came back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then he sent her away again. Yep. Wonderful mm -hmm. life. Mm hmm. So, what are you guys doing? You hanging out with him too? Okay. You got wanted or? No. Oh, okay. Who's the chair? Have any other information for us? Uh, no, he just basically told you where Philip Monroe was. Yeah. Yeah. He went and got that information from uh, Montgomery, the, the shipper. That's uh, how far outside of town? Uh, it's not too far away. Should we go ahead and head out there, gentlemen? <laughs> well, I guess if we're ready to go, that's fine with me, gentlemen. But probably before it gets too dark, I imagine. Mm. No. Was the Marshall coming with us? Marshall Woodline, yeah. Okay. But not Peyton. All right. Thank you. As I say, it will probably be dark. We'll get there. It is starting to get evening, like we said last time. Well, all right. Well, we whenever you're all ready. So it may happen. May happen if we ride hard, or we might uh, make it before dark. Good me. Okay. So you're gonna go back to the stables then, or? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys head back across there. Uh, as you're kind of coming down, uh, you remember how the there's the bluff where the city is, where the the richer people live, and then down below yeah. is lower. As you're kind of coming down that way, uh, down that uh, strip that goes up the bluff, um, you can see uh, the telegraph. Uh, the guy, the guy that works at the telegraph. You can kind of see him uh, coming outside of the telegraph office because it was just right across the street there. And uh, he kind of kind of like waves, waves over towards you guys. 
Not what he wants. Okay. He kind of walks out into the street there, kind of meets you halfway and everything. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Whoops. And, uh... <laughs> well, I thought you were going to tap us. Oh, Ben's here. Hey, Hi, Ben. Hey, hey. What kind of stuff going on Facebook? He was, uh... Um, oh, sorry, to, sorry to bother you and everything, but uh, I, I just remembered something, uh... When we were talking, when you were asking about uh, Mr. Monroe. Yeah, what's that? Well, uh, when he sent that telegram, there was a... Uh, well, I told you, I believe... Uh, yeah, because he told you he had written, and then he kind of, like, threw it away. And then he wrote another one. Yeah. I remember? He goes, well, after he wrote that other one, I, I didn't really think about it too much, but he seemed kind of strange kind of cold and distant, you know? I mean, usually he's very friendly and everything. I don't know if that's important or anything, but uh, it just kind of came to my mind, and I just thought... When he wrote the one you sent that we... Yes. And you... Did you say have the original one? The, the next one? No. That one he, he'd thrown away. Huh. Yeah. We will uh, bear that in mind. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry to bother you. Mm -hmm. He kind of goes on back to the telegraph office. So, uh, oh, would that uh, maybe be some kind of uh, shenanigan for somebody who can do something like what you can do? Well, I think anything's possible. He could have been taken over. Or who knows what, Jim? I'm not talking with voodoo. Yeah, voodoo mm -hmm. that you do. They might be able to control people, I've heard tell. See why I was sent all backwards, upside down, sideways. Can't really uh, understand the whole situation, but it is what it is. I have to be careful when we encounter him in case he's not feeling himself. What happened to Mo all the time? He feels lots of things. I feel many things. I tell you what, very interesting. And the scattermounts and hell together, there, gentlemen. Okay, you guys uh, head on over. <laughs> Sorry on Facebook, somebody, but things that start with the letter D that women love. Go. Don't answer, Bo. Oh, <laughs> lot for dinner. Uh, uh, dangling. Uh, never mind. <laughs> and you keep your heart and simple to yourself there, so. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Disorderly, uh, good compassion. <laughs> Uh, you can get over to the uh, the corral, and basically uh, you get your horses. <laughs> you and Woodlawn have your own horse, and uh, you go ahead and mount, uh, saddle up your horses and everything, and basically uh, you kind of start heading out of town, um, or actually kind of go back through town. So, uh... You got your map there. You have a map? Yep. It'll kind of go back up on the bluff, and then basically there's a little road here, uh, Liberty Liberty Road, and it goes straight out, and it'll connect with the Nanchez Trace. Oh, I see. Okay. And on your way out, you do kind of see there is like an open like little area uh, just at the edge of town. And you can see there's like a open area and there's like these wooden poles that come and come out almost kind of like maybe like five or six of them kind of spread out and everything uh it looks kind of weird and there's just maybe like a some like a little bit like cobble rocks for like a side like someone done a little bit of decorating so it looks like that kind of goes and leads up to the up to it and then there's like a center area that's kind of open but it's all kind of just overgrown not overgrown but it's just left like almost like a park but nothing's really planted there or anything like that uh that's the park we went to earlier wasn't it no no the park was up on the bluff oh okay and this is not really a park um it's kind of like something like 
where people would gather at some point or not, but there's not a whole lot of stuff here to actually um, suggest that it's still being used. Okay. I kind of try and cultural. Mm. Just like somewhere they could come and catch up horses and sit around and talk. Maybe. Sacrifice the animal. Maybe. Yes. I'm still now minus three. To, did that uh, get fixed? Uh, are you still on that carrot? Well, I don't think you've slept yet. No, he had, uh, no, tonight he's supposed to sleep. Right. So, so I'm, yeah, I'm at, I'm, I'm at minus three. So I got a, uh, three. Okay. You don't recall of anything. Are you trying to roll for something, Rob, or you just roll? Yeah, I'm rolling for a cult. Okay. I got 12. Okay. It doesn't mean anything to you as far as the cult goes. I think so. You guys are awesome. Does this look like somebody is uh, just like a like they have meetings here, or does it hmm. at all, or something? Maybe it could. Or it's just a distraction. Could be indeed. Huh? But it's just off the side of the road. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's it actually kind of forms. It doesn't show up very well on the map, but it does kind of like there's like like I think five points where different roads kind of lead into it, almost kind of like a market square would a little bit. Like a multiple crossroad. Oh, it could be, there could be cattle or something in here, or it could be an auction house. or Something like that, maybe. I'll just kind of look around the area, see if there's anything like blood smeared on the poles or no. on them or anything. No, and they're they're old. They're rather old poles and stuff like that. And like I said, they're not very high. They're only about four feet high. Okay. Um, if you go up and, do you want to go up and examine them or anything yeah, like that? It's not too far off the road. No. I'll just kind of spur my horse and ride over that way and kind of look at it. Okay. Uh, you can see where a lot of the poles, the, basically they went at some point that looked like they did hold something else like, like an iron bar or something okay. like that. But those, some of them might still be in there, but most of them have been taken out. Um, and a couple, few of the others that you might see are probably rusted. So they haven't been used in a while or anything like that. Um, you can also roll your, uh, roll your scrutiny, you know, search. Search? Yeah. Four. Okay. That's all you kind of pretty much notice. Well, it's the world's smallest big top. There you go. It's an old circus. Oh, I'm topless. Yep. So I just kind of glance over it and kind of shrug and okay. head on back. Okay. Uh, continue on or? Okay. You kind of continue on. Um, Basically, you kind of cr uh, cross through the uh, Nanchez Trace. And the Nanchez Trace, that is an actual trail. That actually goes back to Memphis. Oh, okay. Yeah, this you probably have heard of. Basically, before the steam... Uh, steam engines and stuff like that. The rafters would bring down goods and inches, and then they would get rid of their goods. They would break up the rafts, sell it off as firewood, and then they would basically spend the night or two in inches, and then they would hike their way back up because it was quicker than trying to actually go back up with the raft. Okay. Uh, nowadays, it's hardly ever used, though, because basically the steam engine is right. pretty much made it obsolete uh you don't actually travel to you don't really travel on the nan chase you just kind of cross over it and everything um and basically like start headed out to where uh uh peyton had kind of told you where he was living uh where uh monroe was living at and mm. not too long before it does start to get dark uh, so someone's got to make a roll here. Mm, if I can find it. Well, uh, someone just go ahead and make a search roll for me. Difficulty seven. Not me. For the whole group, or? Uh, 
Well, actually, anyone can. Okay. I got a nine. Got a well, actually, it would have been 11. Okay. Um, you kind of see there is a point where you basically you've got to kind of cut off the road and down an old dirt path okay. and everything. So you pretty dark out, but you do kind of notice it. So you kind of make the right turn and you uh, kind of head on down. Uh, it kind of goes for probably about a mile or two uh, until eventually you kind of come out and basically come to a small farm. Yay! <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, any lights on? Uh, no. There are no lights. Is it glowing? No, it's not glowing. It's underground. It's not underground. Not underground. Oh, yeah. Whoever took my five poles, would you give them back, yeah. please? <laughs> it's never good. Five poles it's a side quest. Yeah. Go up to the front door and uh, dismount and knock hard. Do you have the uh, markers? Yeah. Somewhere around here. Somewhere. Um, they're they're back there. They're in the kind of box on the second shelf of that octagonal thing. Not down below. No, straight ahead. Go in the back corner there. Sorry. And they should be. They should be. Yeah, in that, in that, yeah that, right below your hand. There's a box. Should be in that box. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for the moment. Don't die. Can you fuck? Can you fuck? Can you fuck? I think Indiana Jones over there trying to get the most. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she'll pass, Red. So, over here, there's a barn. And there's a corral out front. It's a franchise now. Golden corral. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, the big arches. I don't know if Golden Corral, maybe, who owns this place? I don't know, a guy named McDonald? Yeah, I don't know. Which one should we go with? Let's make Golden Corral like all the good food, and let's give the McDonald guy just all the crap. <laughs> yeah. Is that a guillotine in the backyard? <laughs> no, I <like> that house. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. Same thing. Hey, kind of well out here. <laughs> and there's probably like a, a windmill over here. I don't know how to draw a windmill. We'll just put an X. <laughs> and this house, the farmhouse is about two stories high. Uh barn the gate is actually open over here oh and like i said there's no light or anything like that um you do notice there is a horse uh kind of out here kind of grazing okay uh it's kind of hard to see though uh it's dark and it's going to be kind of blended into the light to the light and everything the darkness so you guys ride up to the farmhouse then or well, I'm, I'm already pounding on the door okay i'm going to kind of head over toward the gate but not too far because i can't see i don't have a lantern so mm -hmm. I'll just get they park or go to knock. They park. <laughs> I gotta club my horse. <laughs> yeah. Wax me yeah. in this neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna kind of ride over between the well and that gate, closer okay. to the well, and just kind of watch over there while they're doing stuff at the house. Okay. Just in Who case. Who goes with uh, followed, um Olaf up? I'm gonna go ahead and go into the corral. 
Since okay. The, since the gate was open, I'm just going to ride into it. Okay. Okay. Well, if he rides over in, I'll go to the gate at okay. least and just kind of get one of the pistols out and just kind of cover him. In case that horse pulls a gun on him. You never know. <laughs> he could be two guys in order. He could be two guys. I don't know. Yeah, I thought something. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Kelvin, what are you guys doing? All that horse shit that might happen. Yeah, right. Well, and Kelvin, what are you doing? It's fine. Could be a lot of horse play going on. Well, and Kelvin, you going to that? I'm just going to sit on the horse for a minute and keep an eye out, see if I see anything. Now, at the back, they're going up to the front door. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna spill my horse, come around the back a little bit. You gonna screw your horse? Yeah, uh, and then I'm done with that. I'm gonna bring it around back and then let it go free. And leave Mr. to come to come in from behind. Yeah. I'll come from every angle. You never know. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, the wombat. You never know where he's coming from. You're basically knocking on the door. You can hear him kind of knocking. Uh, there's no answer. Um, <laughs> See if the door's open. You kind of go uh, into the corral there. And uh, go ahead and roll uh, cognition difficulty five. Roll bigger five. Okay, uh, you can tell, uh, it is like a black Morgan horse, uh, pretty tall, um, and it's still got a saddle gear on it. And you can see the reins kind of kind of hanging down underneath its uh, neck and everything. And as you kind of get closer, it does seem to kind of like. <laughs> start kind of like moving back away from you and it kind of nays and everything. Mm-hmm. What are you doing here? <laughs> reaches into the trough, pulls out a suitcase and a hat. No, sir. No, sir. And locks off. Bo, you're kind of going around towards the back there. Uh, you were just with Olaf then. Where'd Olaf go? He was up I'm at the front door. Yeah, Olaf. Okay. Um... Olaf, what are you doing? Now? I'm gonna go ahead and try to open the door and okay. walk in, and call up Philip. Okay, again. you uh, open up the door. Yeah. It's unlocked. Um, you kind of start and kind of call out and everything. Uh, it's dark in here, so you can't really see right now. Um, what about you two out in the stables or corral? Actually, I'm gonna get down off my horse and try and approach the one that's there. Okay. Do you have any skills for that? No. No. Horse shooting. That's what I am. Okay. Are, are you a trainer? Yeah. Okay. Not the horse. He's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See <laughs> that. Okay. Uh, as soon as you kind of you kind of get off get off your horse, and as soon as you kind of start coming towards it, it's basically kind of kind of raises up. It's, it's front legs, everything, and then kind of runs off a little bit, and it kind of starts neighing. It doesn't seem to be very, very friendly at all. Yeah. But it's got riding equipment on. It does have riding equipment on. And you can actually probably see uh, there is like a, uh, a rifle scaffold on the side, and it still has a rifle in it. Is the Are the barn doors open? Uh, uh, yes, they are kind of open. They're just like partially open. I thought I was done with that hole. Mm. Is there any lantern on the outside of the barn? Hanging uh, yeah, there probably is. Okay. The barn on fire current? Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of come over and will be. get off my horse and kind of loop it over the rail of the corral. Okay. And then I'll go over and get the lantern and start to light it. Okay, um, probably at that point, uh, Woodlawn probably comes up beside you and everything. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> and you guys just solved it that job. <laughs> it was blue on the whole time. Yeah. And he kind of hedges off his horse and everything and kind of gets down and probably starts walking over towards Trigger and everything. Uh, inside, like I said, you kind of, you were yelling everything, but you don't hear anything coming back or anything. Bo, yeah, you go around back. There's really not a whole lot there, but you do see there's like a, a storm cellar. It's kind of built into the ground underneath the house. And the doors are are shut on it. You know which kind I'm talking about. Yes. But there doesn't seem to be anything out here. 
Any no, there is um, there is like a trail that kind of goes out into the back that goes further out away from the house. All right. Well, I'll kind of ride around back. Is there? There's no back door, correct? Uh, there probably is a back door. You know, just keep him in the evil dead too. Probably not too far away from the cellar door there. All right. I'm going to uh, try to find a lantern there inside and get it lit and okay. check upstairs. Go ahead and roll a uh, search, difficulty three. <laughs> There's a shambling corpse that hands you a uh, 13. <laughs> 13 with, with my. Uh, you very with my easily mind. find uh, probably a nice lantern there. Probably like a light ass lantern. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you find like a kind of lantern and there's actually some matches right by side and everything. And you kind of light it up. Uh, basically you're kind of like in a living room. Um, you do see there's not a whole lot here. Like, there's like furniture and stuff, but a lot of it's still like covered up with like, uh, with, uh, not blankets, but sheets and stuff. Uh, however, there is like a, a table. There's tons of ghosts in here! Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> This, they're in the table here Ghostbusters. and it's got a bunch of like just like paperwork and stuff and newspapers um and it looks like someone has been working here and making notes and stuff like that i forgot i went to the upstairs to do some computer first and then if i don't discover anything else there i can now kind of cruise and uh you can make your own you go ahead and start perusing kind of looking through that um you, you find a lantern. Yeah, I'll light it up. Back over there, and you kind of light it up and everything. And then I'll probably... Uh, Shit your pants. Yeah, probably. Uh, now I'll go ahead and holster. No, I'm not going to holster my gun. I'm going to use the gun to kind of open the door with my gun hand holding the lantern. It's a, it's actually uh, uh, open enough that you can just walk, up, oh, okay. walk on in. Oh, okay. Because there are huge doors. Okay. So even if they're open up a crack, yeah, it's, it's actually sure still... Open. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and kind of move in okay the lantern the gun in the hand uh you kind of peer in um there's a lot of old stuff in there um uh probably at one point this you know when this was like the, a farm that was actually being used by someone but now it's it's just kind of like old equipment lying around you know old yeah. pitchforks old shovels right. and stuff like that there is some uh bales of hay that look like have been brought in that look fresh okay um, and some grain, some bags of grain and stuff. Yeah. Um, and maybe a few other things here and there, but for the most part, it looks just like someone's old barn. That's okay. not really been completely abandoned, but just hasn't been used for okay. a few years. Nothing obviously out of place, though, in here. You know, nothing like stuff tipped over or a body somebody some kid hanging nope. up again Portal. No, that seems pretty normal okay. things cthulhu oh. okay well i'll take a moment to kind of look around and like kind of check the corner here mm -hmm. walk around the wide thing see if there's anything in here and then just after that i'll head out okay. uh woodlawn probably kind of comes up over towards you and everything mm -hmm. uh almost looks, looks like a wild one. one well no not wild enough that it wasn't settled, though. That's true. Mind if I give it a try here? Go ahead. If I sue this, he kind of, kind of, he's got like a way with the animals and everything. He actually, he does have. A, a, a whisper. I almost in a way. He's he's got a, something strange going on there. He kind of like talks to it and everything. Basically, he does kind of get it to calm down, but he does kind of calm it. And this is sort of a wild horse, almost like half tamed. I don't know who would ride a horse like this. But she is nice, or he is nice and strong. And he kind of finally gets him by the reins and kind of brings him over, and it kind of calms down enough. Even though when he, he comes over to you, it's still kind of like, oh, who are you, you know? And he starts kind of, kind of backing up a little bit and kind of neighing. Uh, would you like do anything to look at anything or yeah is there, are there any saddlebags look at the rifle uh there are no saddlebags but there is and it's actually it's a, a winchester shotgun mm. kind of, pretty much the same one that um yeah it's pretty much the same one that Cobb bought 
So. And that's pretty much about all that's on it. It is a very nice saddle, though. Yeah. Um, it is it, kind of like it's been uh, stained black and everything. Blood. Yeah. But there's no, like, silver or anything flashy on the saddle, you know, with the bits or anything. It's all been blackened out and everything. Or just, like, a straight, simple steel color. Yeah. All right. Um... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the saddle off of it. Okay. You kind of do that and everything. The corner. What are you doing with my horse? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just making it comfortable. <laughs> uh, probably Woodline does have to kind of actually kind of calm it down a little bit more too. Kind of, kind of, you know, talk yeah. to it a little bit and kind of distract it, distract it a little bit. Are you and you kind of unsaddle it and everything, get that saddle off of it. And he goes, uh, might you want to take the reins off him too, or? Sure, go ahead. He kind of takes that off. And actually, even even with him, like when he's, like, getting the, the bit out, it, it almost tries to kind of, like, nip him a little bit, you know? So you guys are doing that. Mike, what are you doing again? Well, I kind of looked around there. Does, does it look like it, the weed's pretty high? Like, people have been passing through here or not? Um, Out of the outhouse? Oh, in the outhouse? Uh, in between the two of them, so. Yeah, the grass is kind of tall. I mean, it looks like maybe someone comes around here and, and does something, but it's been a while. Yeah. They're hiding meth in the room. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm getting off immediately. <laughs> um, all right. I will dismount back here, and then I'll... Is there anywhere to tie the horse around anywhere over here or not? You can hitch it to... I mean, you can hitch it. There's a tree line back here, or you can come up and hitch it on something like the doorknob, or like the, you know, the handles to the cellar, or something like that. Or you, there, you could probably open the door. Like, there's a door, the doorknob to the to the yeah. outhouse. I'll, like I'll handle. carry it over there, and then I'll open up the, you know, the outhouse. And see if there's okay. anybody in there. There's nobody oh, in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody has even. There you can me. smell shit. It's been used. Okay. At some point within the last couple of days. Well, I'll tie the horse to that knob, and then I'll head towards the house. Okay. The pull out like, my pistol. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah I'm just yeah. waiting here for you. Be fresh. <laughs> Shut the door. Uh, I gotta smell your road apples. <laughs> Go back into the horse. You do not find anybody up front there, uh, upstairs. Okay. Um, And give me one second for you, Kelvin. Mm. You better hurry up. Because you're the one the vampire attacks. Uh, you do see for you, there are like some half written articles. Uh, articles? Or... Articles. Oh, bring them out here for the news? Type? Yeah, for the news. Um, you do remember that news, the, the, the telegraph guy saying that uh, Monroe did take stuff oh, yeah. into him and he would telegraph it off to San Angelo. Um, so it's a good understanding of where Monroe's place, Monroe's place then. Confirming. It's very likely. And they do find some other papers. Rolling papers? No. Yeah. Last women to hmm. This is how you summon stone. Yeah. When in danger or in doubt, run in circles. Yeah. I don't know why they do Mike. Bo. You hand that down to him. Message for you, sir. It's all in braille. Both can, both both can do it with his fingers. Okay. Um, you can come back downstairs. He's looking over those papers, too. Um, and anything interesting, man? Give me a minute, I'm reading. Uh, I'm just telling you what. Yeah. 
So actually, probably after that, the horse kind of he kind of backs off and actually kind of runs around the corral a little bit. Right. The, the gate in which is I'm going to carry the saddle towards the gate and pull the gate shut. Okay. So that. And Woodlock the, probably walks over towards the barn, towards where you're at. Yeah. I'm going to set the saddle on the fence and get a closer look at it where I don't have to worry about the horse okay. reacting as I examine it. Okay. Um, you, you kind of look through it. There are some small saddlebags. They're not very big ones. Mm -hmm. um, they don't seem to have a whole lot, but there's like maybe like a box of ammunition. Uh, on, uh, I think 45s. Okay. Um, and then um, probably another one that's just like uh, not, not a whole lot of anything. Uh, Nothing that's identifiable. Not really. Yeah. No. Okay. No. For the shot. Don't know whose horse it Bye. is. <laughs> hmm. I gotta look at the marshal as he walks up. Like, I didn't see anything in there, but you're more than welcome to take a look. No, I don't imagine I find anything you didn't. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for anyway. Yeah. I don't know who this uh, Philip fella is. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sorry. I don't know if he ever had a horse. Don't call him having one like that. But doesn't mean he didn't get one. I didn't see him in the barn, though, at least. That's maybe a good thing. No, you'd have to be probably a accomplished rider to ride that beast. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe it's not been Rose. It'll be someone else's. I gotta look over and I'm like, I'm gonna go check out the house. Right, okay. So I'll probably, since you close the gate, I'll just kind of hop over the fence, you know, mm -hmm. holster my gun, take my lantern, hop over the fence, and I'll start walking toward the house. Okay. Well, Don will probably follow you. Okay. Because I tied my horse on the outside of the corral, so it's fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm gonna. Once I finish not finding anything with mm -hmm. the saddle, I'll go ahead and head on inside too. Okay. And Mike, you go up to to the back door then, or yeah, I okay. got my pistol out. No, try and see if it's unlocked. It, it is unlocked. I'll push it open with my gun pointing in. Perplexed. I'll push it open with a gun. Looking okay. In. You can see light coming in from the front of the house. Okay. Looks like a lantern has been lit. You can hear uh, maybe a little bit of talking, but not a whole lot. Okay. You hear a whole lot of reading. There you go. Is there a light in here? You can find one. I'll go ahead and light it up. Okay. I'm out the back door. Nobody back here. I'll light it up. We're in the front room. <laughs> Got some roof of madness happening. <laughs> uh, you guys eventually get up towards that the front door. And okay. It's probably still open. You can see light on in there. And okay. I guess these guys are reading through some papers and stuff. It's kind of how I described it. If you remember? Hey, Copperhead, I'm reading. I'm shocked. I learned it while I was riding the horse. <laughs> Did your horse teach you? <laughs> of course. Of course, the horse, of course, of course. To find anything interesting? Yeah, I really interesting. I found that uh, good preacher there likes to read really slow. <laughs> no, Swedish. <laughs> yes, they did not, they did not my native language. Oh, no, well, you did faster than not, and that's the crazy part. I'm going here. <laughs> Bo, you kind of get in there too. So, any sign of where Monroe might be? A little bit. There's a lot of information in a piece of paper right there. Are y'all going to take turns reading it or are you just going to tell me? I'll just start, <laughs> I'll just start kind of walking around. It goes up to the house. Several so, so 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 meetings about the, 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 the poop yeah, again um, and uh, no, other people. Which else? Some places. Up here. The fact that he was hearing voices in his head every time he thought about a certain spot. Okay. I believe he was talking about that spot we just passed. I don't know, I could be wrong though. Mm. 
Only read it once. Did I hand you the right one? The monster of the game gave me all the people to read. But no one could know what happened. Yeah. Uh, he, he was he was noting that uh, he was uh, hearing whispers in his head when he's thinking about this place called Emerald Mound, which is a uh, old Natchez site uh, from back when the French held the territory. Uh, maybe, maybe a former sacred yeah. site. But, uh, There's not a whole lot else, Mike. Okay. Um, he obviously someone has yeah. been living here, but very sparsely. Uh, you know, pretty much just for work. It's up. It's up. They're kind of hot. It's all go back out. Down down the the cellar and open it up. Kids, kids tell about um, stories about it. There is a lock on it, but it seems to be pretty old. Oh, that sounds lovely. Um. Uh, you can maybe try pick your box. I mean, pick your lock. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a brand new lock on it, actually. It's a very old, brand new lock. That one you guys found too. Get yeah, both of them. Bujo seven on face or uh, TikTok or Twitch. It says hello. We got people talking to us on Twitch. Yep. Can you respond? I can. Um, I don't really have anything. About I'm a joke. Try and, can I try and break the lock or is it? Yeah, um, actually, it's not that hard. It's really just meant, so it's not like a big heavy lock. I'm on and the cylinder doors are like, Twitch and the handles are pretty sturdy well, and the wood's pretty sturdy. Well, but because it's, got so much it can easily okay, be broken. Right, well, it's I'll, more of a determinant, it looks like. Track? You, you like just, uh, just, from, just from simple okay, thieves and stuff like that. Okay. So if you actually put some force into it, you can actually kind of yeah. break it, break it off. I'll do that then. Okay. Well, you kind of it does. Well, go ahead and roll your strength. Uh, I got a five. Okay. Uh, you do basically kind of break it and kind of like part of the wood. The lock doesn't really break, but the wood or handle does kind of break off okay. everything. Yes, Bobby, everyone's wearing like, the latch. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. The latch that holds it, you know? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, uh, you've got a lantern, so it kind of basically goes on down probably about eight feet or so. Okay. Kind of go on down, or? I saw that lantern. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll start kind of going down. Okay. Uh, you kind of go on down, the board's kind of creaking and everything. Um, it does have kind of a weird scent to it. It doesn't have that dry um, basement scent to it. It's more cut, kind of a... Hookah lounge. Kind of like that, I guess. I'm not sure what that smells like, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah. It would be... It wouldn't smell like that, trust me. Um, basically, you kind of get in here, into the cellar. Anastasia says, and you guys made that storyline possible without an established RPG. Way to go. Without a what? RPG. I've been doing with the ants and the, oh, this oh, yeah. and the sewer. This is an RPG, no. though. No, I'm talking about the... Oh, oh that I Sorry for the tonight. We were going bust on a lot of rolls. <laughs> we rolled ones a lot tonight. Yeah. 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 I'm just shocked we have people talking to us on Twitch. It never happens. I'm shocked when people talk to me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's like uh, basically just uh, the braces for the ceiling, everything. Uh, there is a couple of boxes over here. Uh, basically like big long boxes, uh, probably about four feet by two feet, maybe three feet. Um, kind of like shipping boxes. Uh, they've been kind of open and everything. Like cardboard um, regatta type boxes. And then there's like a table over here, and as you kind of look the lamp from over here, there's like the table, it's got a lot of little like vials and glassware and just maybe some liquids and stuff and jars and stuff, smaller jars, mm -hmm. and just kind of smattering of like tools and stuff. Some cheddar bacon haggis. Um, a plate. The rest of the stuff oh, like back here are like shelves. They're just all full of old stuff. 
panning shelves, okay. um, different knickknacks, some more tools, different odds and ends. Just go down into any basement, the stuff you collect, someone would collect. Yeah. You know, obviously the stuff that's here and down in these boxes here, those are all brand new, whereas everything else has probably been here for a while. Okay. And there is like a, a large lantern kind of lit up over, or not lit up, but there's another lantern, kerosene lamp. Uh, over here on the table. I'll go over there and try and through. light it up. You, you easily light it up and everything. Come on! Open up so I can see more of the room and just kind of kind of look around. You said they were, some of the crates are open or shut? They're all pretty, pretty much open. open. All right. I'll go over there and look at them. Yeah, you got to go over there and look at those. Um, actually, before you do that, I probably will uh, go ahead and make a, a cog roll. Difficulty five. Eight. Okay. Uh, as you are kind of, as you light that up and you start kind of going back, oh, I saw those those boxes there. And you start to turn, you kind of look at that table there. Also on the table uh, with all that other stuff, there are like blueprints. Okay. Just various blueprints with writings and sketches and stuff like that on them. All right. Well, I'll probably glance at those before I head over the boxes, but. Okay. Um, most of the blueprints don't make too much sense to you. Most of them are like kind of incomplete. Um, there are some like look like formulas kind of like written on the sides of stuff. So it's not just necessarily blueprints, but like, like a for like, uh, someone writing down mathematics and stuff. Okay. Um, and you do see there's like a, a tray, uh, <laughs> kind of like a pea, the Petri tray type thing, the ceramic, well, that's more like the ceramic one that you would like make mix stuff with okay um but it's actually got something in it like some sort of like um kind of think of think of like a a twinkie that's been bitten off and just kind of hurting up like torn off and kind of holy shit there's a twinkie around. down there yeah. <laughs> this is not, not like a big twinkie but just like a little piece you know <laughs> right. it looks kind of weird to you that that's how it's the dirt that's how i'm kind of describing it dude because you don't right. know what it is <laughs> i i can't look at it like all right and then i'll i'll walk over to that those boxes okay um, you kind of look over those boxes. Um, these are all mine. I own these now. You find uh, basically several boxes of ammunition for a uh, 45 caliber and for 12 gauge shotgun. Okay. Um, there's some tools. Um, they're also made of bullets. You can roll your smarts. Difficulty five. Oh God, that was all. Four. <laughs> Just four. Just four. Uh, there's some tools that look kind of strange to you. You know, you're not familiar with them. They're not. They the require of... batteries, and I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't. Um, they're not tools that you've seen before. They're like specialized tools, maybe. Um, there are some also uh, some whetstones for like sharpening blades and stuff. Oh, whetstones. Okay. Um, you can see, um, kind of oddly enough, there's a. Uh, Kind of like bundles of stiffened leather and thin, like stiffened leather. And then there's like a bundle of like thin steel plates, all various shapes and sizes, kind of like bound together with like a piece of rope or something, you know, like small. Uh, they look like anything that was on the plans? Huh? They look like anything that was on any of the plans? Possibly. It could okay. be. Is that it then? Uh, pretty much. Um, go ahead and make another, make another cog roll. Uh, this time difficulty seven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, you do notice there are some, also some extra, it looks like chemicals. Okay. Chemical compounds and jars rolling off different names that aren't really mean anything to you. All right. Um, but you do notice some of those boxes have like markings on them. Like, uh, like. Not for the shotguns, but for the forty fives. You'll find like one is just got like a like a like a red piece of paint on it. Another one has got like a blue piece of paint on it, like a marking, like different boxes, even though they're the same they're the same brand and the same caliber and all that stuff. Right. Right. And go ahead and make uh, another cog roll. Fifteen. Okay. Well, you guys, I'd see you're up there, kind of doing your thing, everything, and 
probably didn't really realize below the lap, but eventually you kind of heard some, like something being broke outside. And you kind of imagine that was him. Yeah. Um, what have you guys been doing since then? If I hear something break outside, I'll go, and Kelvin would go and look. Okay. You kind of start going over there then. And I would probably go with him, but I, after the don'ts, I'm like, did anybody look upstairs yet? Yeah, nothing, nothing up there. Nothing up there. All right. Pull off, dude. Yeah. All right. Actually, I was just hanging out at the door, so if there was something outside, I'll be right out. You went out to the back door. You got because you came into the front door. Mm. Or would you go differently, or no? Like I said, I was just hanging out at the front door. Okay. And if we heard something outside, I would. Go outside. Okay. You kind of go outside and like circle around or just go yeah. through the house. Circle around. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd probably follow Kelvin if he heard some break outside. Just see what it is. Okay. Um, go to the back door. And... Okay. Yeah. You can kind of go, go on back door back there. And yeah, you can see where, where it looks like someone has pulled open the cellar doors and it's just, there's, the latch, you know, that little flimsy latch, and then it's got the lock. That part's been broken off of it, so that you can be on the back up. And you can see his horse out there. Oh, and Spo. So he's in the basement. Smoking a cigarette, the horse. The horse is. The horse is. In it using the outhouse. Yeah. Privacy. <laughs> yeah. Could you not look, please? Jeez. Bo must be in the basement. Hopefully, Bo is always by himself in the basement. I don't. I go back in the house. <laughs> He's missing by himself in the basement. I don't the want to Twinkie? Know. I'll go out and go in the basement. Okay. Is your reference to a Twinkie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you were up there. Oh. Open the door. Yeah. Bo? It's, it's actually open. already open. Go. Yeah. At least one side. Down there, Bo. Yeah. And you, you or Olaf come down here with some blueprints. I'll call her up. Hey, Olaf. Hey. You need it in the basement. Okay, I'll go ahead and head down. In the cellar. Okay. Yeah. Take another quick look and then I'll, 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 after right I'll join him in the basement. Oh, well. If okay. I can. <laughs> I'll go out the back door and make my way down. Woodlawn will probably kind of stay up. He'll probably read some of the stuff that you've been looking through. Yeah. Um, what about you? I'm going to actually take a walk around the barn. Okay. Around the outside. Okay. And there is like a like a creek back here in the woods, and then there's like a little uh, trail that goes to a bridge, and then actually actually leads to kind of like to an old railroad track. And like at some point, someone brought was bringing some sort of track through here, and then they stopped or something. Um, so you're kind of doing that, uh, Colin. You kind of go on down, mm-hmm. and then shortly after, you kind of come on down. In case you can just kind of, kind of see what I already kind of described. I'll take a look at the tools. Uh, you, you probably don't have to roll. Um, they're engineering and everything. Yeah, they're reloading tools for ammo. Oh, shit, no, I wouldn't have to roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, reloading tools. Yeah, there's all that. Here's the preamps. Now, I would add a bunch of strange tools, and then there's all them plates that wrapped yeah, up in the Strange tools are reloading tools. Reloading tools? Reloading bullets, yeah. Like speed for speed loaders or something? No, for making bullets. Making bullets. Oh, I see. You, you just straight casings and refolds with the new head. Oh, well. Or cotton candy. You know, like the oh, one, oh, one, cotton candy. <laughs> like the one that what's his name Gutman, the barn up there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well maybe either you fellows might like this equipment. Of course I would. <clears throat> yep. then it's so, really long what are you doing? Well, I'm I'll look at the blueprints first. Okay. See what's going on. Um I don't make heads and tails of the one blueprint. That sort of thing. You're, You're not, not really sure what it is. It's like just like pieces of something else. Tinker. Um, you can't really make it out. But there is one. Go ahead and roll your uh, smarts, or actually roll uh, smarts or um, chemistry. Uh, yeah, chemistry. I don't have chemistry, but so smarts. Okay. Uh, there it is. Is there a minus on that normal? No, I'm. I'll only just have it normal. Just my minus three then. Uh, uh, eight. Okay. Um, you kind of look, 
And you kind of look at a little look like the little formulas that kind of write written down everything. Some of them look like they someone was working on something, and then so, so some of them are just like scratched. I know I'm not going to use this. You know, basically in the process, um, it does look like whatever it was he was making is actually you can see there's like a little spongy substance there. You. And basically, it's, it looks like it's something that you pull you would put in your hair. It looks like earplugs, like very heavy earplugs. Okay. And that's that's all it really is, and it's just and it is kind of like what you'd get today, like spongy little thing that kind of yeah. it squishes and then it expands in your ear. It's your Twinkie. They're called ear Twinkies. Uh, the other uh, parts of the plant, uh, the other plant things, uh, you have steam engineering and mad science. Uh, definitely has nothing to do with steam engineering. Okay. Um, it looks like it might have something to do with, um, um, garmenting, like clothing or something like that. Hmm. Maybe like armor or something, hmm. but not for like a vehicle or anything. And there's definitely, there's stuff. There's, it looks like there's stuff that's also missing from it. Like it's not been brought. Like there are, there are the plans might have like certain labels that tell you like, okay, this is this part of this plan. This is part of this plan. There are some that are obviously not here. Okay. Hmm. What are you two, what are you doing after they came down and he was looking at that? Did you have chemistry, by the way? Or anything like that? Like chemistry? No. Okay. I was letting Olaf handle all that. I was looking okay. at the equipment. I definitely would know that. What about you, Mike? What are you doing now? Oh, I'm just kind of seeing what he's finding out and everything. Okay. Okay. I do have chemistry. I'm sorry. I do. Have do you really have chemistry? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can see some of those chemicals. Um, they're kind of curious. Uh, like frost. I mean, there's there's gunpowder. There's nitrate stuff. There's like phosphorus. Uh, powder and stuff like that. There's just kind of a weird combination. Maybe he tell sign that he was probably doing reloading of some type. More than just reloading, like maybe making different types of rounds and stuff like that. Like burning maybe rounds or maybe whatever. burning rounds or something like that. Yeah. Or flash bang rounds or yeah. What they call exactly. it. Stream, uh, not streamers, but train streamers. Then Mike, uh, basically. Uh, probably as you're kind of headed over towards Olaf, uh, you actually do hear, uh, those doors to the cellar. They like, like someone just closed them on you. Okay. Who's all down? Are we all down here or just, just three of you? The doors just shut? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and the lantern. There's one on the table. I'll head over there. Okay. Uh, and I probably, cause it's you. Him and me, you were back there, weren't you? He, you don't know where he was. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's in the room. So it's just us three. It's just three of you are out. Yeah, we're not here. I'm not Neither is the marshal. Okay. Because you were still in the building. Yeah, I went upstairs, upstairs to look okay. around. I go to the stairs and I go like, hey, we're still down here. And I'll go up, push it open. Okay. Uh, you try and push it open. Um, it's not lifting open. Okay. No, I mean, that's just, you know, you're just kind of like easy, easy left, and it's not. All right, well, I'm going to push. Hey! Uh, I feel like there's something is, like, on top of it or something. Your horse is sick. I know what you did to my sister. Uh... Well, uh, downstairs while he's kind of up there and he's kind of yelling or something like that, uh, you hear a noise back over here. Pull my pistol, turn around and look. Kind of shine a light. Well, he's got the lamp on the lamp on the table, though, don't he? Yeah, but uh, he kind of just it, you can kind of see. But I mean, you can see the darkness. You don't see anything obvious, right? You know, and there's still a little bit of shadow there, but I mean, it's not that much. But yeah, you, you kind of look and you don't really see anything. Uh, you kind of walk over, you can kind of hear a, a trickling sound, and you can kind of get a smell, a chemical smell. Uh, identifiable at all? Uh, roll your chemistry. Roll your chemistry. <laughs> right, I do. Uh, five. Uh, it smells like kerosene. 
Gentlemen, <laughs> we got a problem here. And as you kind of look over, you can now see kerosene kind of pouring, kind of leaking out. It's like a like a large. You can actually see now. There's a large barrel, not barrel, but like uh, the okay. You yeah, like the little keg ones, and it's it's like broken open and everything, and it's kind of falling off your side, and it's actually starting to roll a little bit. And it's just kind of like smearing that kerosene all across that part there, and it's kind of starting to spread. Bo. <laughs> Well, it's hollering out there, so I don't know if we want to go in rounds or. Uh, yeah. Sure, let's go into rounds. Let us out, let us out. Let us in, let us in. Oh! <laughs> What's going on out here? Down here. This kerosene is spilled everywhere. The door shut. Hey, open the door! I'm gonna blow that fucking lantern out. Like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take all that gunpowder and dump it on to put it out. Yeah, that's smart man. I'm gonna drown this flame in gunpowder. That'll do it. Works every time. What do we do for the quickness? I'm gonna make it take the quickness. Yep. Quickness rolls. Do you want just them in the basement to do quickness? Or you want everybody um, to do Let's go with just them. Okay. Yeah, deck. Mm. We need a deck for everybody. So with minus three, yeah. is mine. I don't know if I'll need it for hexes tonight. Here, I got another well. one. I got another one. Nice. I'm at a three. Uh, I just get one. You might need it, so. Have an extra deck, so. Yeah, but would have two decks. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, aces? Oh, yeah, got the card 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 card. Card. oh wow. Then you guys don't have any issues in it. <laughs> All right, who got? Yeah, how many? 33 for me. So that's how many? Five. 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 Max. Two 12s and a nine. <laughs> what we got? Okay, One card. What's that? What did you roll, though? Oh, uh, a three. So I got eight, so I get two? Yeah. Your party. Ooh. Eight. Yeah, ace. Eight's a spades. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a hearts. It's a hearts. Okay. Uh, you hit spades? Yes. Okay, so what are you doing? You're still up there at that door. All right. I am going to cast... Fan of Fingers. I had so much fun with it last time. Yeah. I did, but we're going to try it again. So did the bear. <laughs> So that is... What are you planning on doing? Use it to force the doors. Okay. What are you doing? Blowing out the lantern. Okay. So you walk back over there. Um, oh. Uh. Five. So I get five cards. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to turn it off? Like turn it down. No, it's, it's like shot where you want to okay. pick up the base and actually blow it out. All right, blow it out. Well, I'm going to turn it down enough to blow it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got to go down and start to turn it down. Okay. Do we sell the pencils up here? Yeah. Action around it. Turn off the lantern. Well, you were you did walk over to the other side yeah. over here, so walked over and started turning down. While I'm walking, I'm putting my pistol away. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling my Bowie knife. Okay. Who had the other lantern? Did Mike have it? I had it. You yeah. have it. Let's see. He got a cast of hex. I'll just put this lantern here in this wet spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's plenty of life. Thank you. <laughs> Aziz! Okay, three of a kind gets me the thinking, I can Aziz, life. Oh, thank you. Lift the person. Okay. So, I don't know if it's instantaneous or I can use it or how's that work on those? When you cast your hex, if it says instant duration instant, then it's good. Or I'm assuming. One for around 25 yards, spirit. The question is, though, is, is does it have like a strength rating to it or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, so I can lift a person. Well, I know, but if that person is. 
tethered or forced in some way? Does it actually have a strength? No, it just gives a range of. It just gives a range. Yeah. So you probably lift or move about 150 to 200 pounds, maybe. Yeah. Because <laughs> the next one, the next one just is a iron safe. So that's probably 250. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I'll say is I'll let you use your your hex as a strength roll. Okay. Yeah. Your actual hex sling as a strength roll. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. that works. Eleven. Okay. Uh, so you can. Kind of, is it instantaneous? Yeah. Who not do? Okay. Uh, you kind of cast it, and basically that the door breaks open. And everything. Okay. Um, and it does seem like it, it would. It normally would take a strength of seven to okay. break it open. Um. Any other aces? Kings. Mike uh, Bujo. What do you got? I think it's time yeah, for you to sit a little closer to the table so you can see more of you on the Oh, okay. There you go. And um, Dale, um, Bujo7 wants you to say my name. Okay, Bobby. Is that what you want? Well, it's Bujo7 is the one. That's Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Oh, that's Bobby. 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 Okay. Yeah. Steal my name, bitch. Steal my name, bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is this. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Now, yeah, is my day in it. Hello, Twitch people. We haven't had many people on our channel on Twitch lately, so thank you for joining us on there. Yeah. Hello, guys. I've been running it. Yeah. We've had a uh, last week. So what are you doing, doing yeah. Kelvin? Yeah, putting out the lantern. Okay. okay, you do get it out. Still like for me, so you at least get as you see. Oh, sure. Leave me in the deck because I was going to try to stabilize the barrel, so it wasn't going to be rolling over. It's already leaking. Normal street. It might be leaking when I was trying to put the leak up to the top side, so it wouldn't roll around and spill out anymore. On the table? Yep. Ooh. That was worth it. 15 or 8. Yeah, 15. Okay. Uh, you feel something tugging away at that lantern. You still have it in your hand? Yeah. You feel something like jerk it, try and jerk it away from you. Oh, no. Now you said kerosene, right? I said this place is filling up with kerosene. All right. And it, is it pulling it in? Kerosene! Trying to pull it away from you. Uh, like someone's trying to grab out of your hand. In front of me. In front of you. Or, or beside you. Wherever, okay. you know. Well, I'm not saying, like, here's the lantern. They're pulling it this way, or they're trying to pull me. Probably trying to pull it. Off to the side and away from you. Okay. I'm right. pulling your arm a little bit, but your arm's not going because you're actually mm -hmm. pulling it. So. Okay. I can solve this problem. Can you? You're dancing around with that. Can you? I can solve this problem. Look at this. Yeah. Thank you. So you shut that lantern off and everything. Uh, Queens. Yeah. That one you want to got Queens. <laughs> Queens. Yeah, hey, Mike. Yeah, that's me. What? Uh, go ahead and uh, you're gonna kick me nuts, huh? Make a guts check. I told you, can't kick him in the eye. He's not the werewolf. The <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> have eleven. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And you get minus two for the fear level in this area. Oh, oh, sure. So I get. I rolled a four. What do I need? Two. Eleven. Oh, well, you need eleven. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget your grit. You oh, grit. I would forget grit. So that's a nine. Ten, eleven. No, it's minus two for the well, fear. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So. No, wait, wait, no. Minus be, two be, be, no. no, he rolled. No, listen, I, I rolled a six. So right. plus five is eleven, minus two is nine. No, nine, excuse me. Yeah, so I got a nine. Be quiet, peanut gallery. Okay. <laughs> Where's the bottom? Ooh, you're going to spin a chip? The yeah. red one, too. Sweet. Nothing like helping out the guys. Eight. I have a feeling we're not going to be helping out the guys here. Fourteen. Fourteen plus nine. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Nine. 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 Just like right beside you, you basically see this old Kachi old man uh, just kind of like standing there right beside you. He's got an old hat on, an old shambly coat, you know, he's got an old uh, kind of grayish beard and raggly hair and everything. He's got kind of a pungy nose and looks like the teeth are all 
made of kind of yellowed and cracked and stuff from ages of not having a dentist. You know, uh, I mean, he looked uh, kind of like a little bit like uh, uh, who was the guy, the old mountain man from Grizzly Adam? Oh, yeah, yeah. Never, yeah. 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 think of him on crack. Okay. Yikes! 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 You're talking about that. But we're great. We found a meth lab in the fucking 1800s. <laughs> but I, you kind of see that and everything. His hand is like on on the thing. All of a sudden, it starts to change. The skin starts deteriorating. The eyes basically just rot away into like just swollen holes and everything. And basically, the, the clothes just kind of kind of start wombling around. Like they be, like they're only like partially there or something. It's just like. Kind of like uh, uh, Ghostbusters. No, the okay. library, yeah, you know, yeah, she looked normal, yeah. and all of a sudden she's like, ah. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, so, but yes, you made your uh, guts check, and so you were not scared. Stick your finger in his empty eye socket. So, uh, <laughs> Jax. Ten. I think I must have a jack because I gotta go pee. Any tens? Hey. Uh, do you have a? Uh, what do you have for Python? Me? Huh? Uh, I have Thor, but I, it'd be my cane. But I have a pistol. So. If you don't have your cane, you really like, because it's just if you don't, you don't have, have fighting fight brawling. I don't have no fighting brawling. Yeah. Okay. But I do have dodge. But I have to give up cards. You have to lose. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, as this kind of hole in you, his other hand comes up and basically is going to grab for your throat. You want to try and dodge? He's going to lose. He's gonna what do I got to get? Uh, you have to get over... Uh, you, have to, you have to beat a five. Beat a five? Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll give it a shot. So it's a D8. Four. Dang it. Papa Whitey. Papa Whitey? But then he can draw one. No, that's a red. Huh? No, it no, I draw anything except for when you spend it on wounds. For oh. blue. Blue, he doesn't pull. No, blue, I don't pull. I don't pull for blue. Only the red and white. I thought it was just red. I didn't know. If I spend a white, that's it. Yeah, I'll try. I'll tell. So you're just going for another, another roll? Yep. Ah. No. Nope. All right. He grabs me. Uh, da, 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 da. And didn't even give you dinner first. No. Nope. I know. <laughs> All right, you will take one wound. And basically, as his hand comes out and touches, you just feel coldness kind of go through your body. Okay. Ooh, it's like standing in that refrigerator. This is what everything that you've done as what was his nightlife character? Oh, hero. Yeah, everything you've done as hero. Now that's what you're feeling. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. So you stand in a chip. Yep. Mitigating. Yep. Okay. Uh, nines. Far, far as I'm concerned, this guy doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. No, <laughs> no, no. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf, no you? Eight. No, oh. Seven. No, you didn't. <laughs> Eight. All right. How did oh, you? Um, I got a space space. Oh, hard. I'm sorry. Eight of spades. Oh, you go oh, first then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make my way up to the stairs. So obviously, something's going on. Bo's not responding. Okay. You start basically walking over. 
Uh, go ahead and make a catch check. Difficulty is at 11, minus the 2 from here. What are you doing? I'm going to try to attack the thing in the neck with, with, with my knife. I've got Do what? Fight. I'm going to try to attack it in at the back side with the knife. Okay, are you you're going to turn and look up up and then you're yeah. going to okay. go with me. Your guts are as well. Go. Okay, let's see. What are I going to roll on? Your guts. Well, it's your thing, but you're going to be minus five total. So 46. Minus, oh, because, because he's got the, 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 minus the five plus three, uh, five. So you're going to be just an even. Whatever rolls, what you get. So it's negative two, right? Yeah, for your oh, fear, for, uh, the fear level. 17 for me. Okay, so you've got no problem. Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, okay. So you, get, you actually get to go first, what do you doing? Uh, I'm going to walk over to the stairs and look up to see what the hell's going on. And okay. you see basically, uh, it's got, it's got like one hand trying to grab the lantern away from him and one hand on his neck and you can kind of still see he's, you, you can still feel that sort of ice going through your body, you know? Can I quick draw and shoot? You can quick draw and shoot. It's the, your quickness. Uh, I have the skill of quick draw, too. Yeah, yeah, your quick draw skill, and it's difficulty seven if you're shooting at the same time. Yep. We'll try. <laughs> Not so much for that die. I see it. I was going to nah. do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 24. Uh, 32 again. 32. Okay. You easily draw. Go ahead. It's typical. Go ahead and make your roll shoot. Typical is five. Get that over to Hold, please. Shooting mm. nine thirteen. Okay, what are you shooting him with then? Uh, pistol. Just, just pistol, pistol round. That's a the Walker Dragoon. Okay. So. Uh, base, you kind of fire, and it basically just kind of goes right through them. The ghost round. Okay. Even with the ghost round, it goes right through them. Okay. And so it, this, it goes this, right is through not, this is not a person, then, obviously. Yeah. It's a ghost. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> you? Oh. <laughs> I, I suppose since I'm having to draw my knife and get over there, that's going to be my whole turn. I, uh, I no, you can, you, can, you can draw and do something okay. that you wish. All right, so I'm attacking with that, so 3d8. So you guys would have heard a gunshot go off. Yeah. We'll finish this round with them, and then you guys can. Eight, seven, eight. Um, two is the best I can do. Okay. Uh, basically, you kind of run up after he kind of shoots everything. Kind of slash at him, but you don't even come close to it. Um, that was eight, mm -hmm. seven. We need some holy else with magic, gentlemen. Oh, you have to talk because I can't do it. I mean, okay. I'm going to get, well, I'll advance out of the basement as best I can, too. Mm -hmm. I'll try to get up out of the basement a little bit. They're both blocking you because they're right there. Yep, they're all in the stairway. Yeah, in the stairway. Yep, they're in the stairway. Yep. Uh, well, shit balls. Um, hold on. I'm gonna roll a cult. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you quickly bring out your Tobin spirit guide. <laughs> the class five female being vapor. <laughs> uh, Twelve. 12 okay uh yeah this appears to be something like uh a shade of some type it's not like the banshee that you guys saw um or like the one That's the witch but it probably does have similar attributes all ghosts have similar attributes um you know that they can't be hurt 
like physical weapons, even like silver or anything. It's it's pretty much has to be uh, magic or some sort of holy type of thing. Enchanted. So I wasn't off when I said we gotta do something holy or magic with this thing, gentlemen. I'm just gonna do my best to stay out of the puddle of any kerosene. Knowledge of what's going on yet. Um, sixes. Are you guys all out? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. I'm out. Got left. Three. Okay. Uh <laughs> just so try one cool. more time. Damn, it's golden. Maybe we should make a straight to roll for me. It's about appropriate. Billions watching, should I? Regular strength? Yeah. Eleven. Okay. Uh it tries again. You kinda of pull away that liner in front of you. But you're able to hold on to it. Okay. Uh, quickness then. Everybody? Yep. I couldn't really do anything else. So you put up your sleeve. Oh, up my sleeve. Yeah, you put it up your sleeve. 15. Twenty two. And one. Twenty five for me. The update. Okay, so you get five. Yeah. Is it five to five, 10, 15, 20. That's the max you can have. So then you get so, five. Yeah. And I got 15. I got so all I these got four. Wow. Yep. One, okay. five, which, 10, 15. Okay. Which one is this? I roll. I got 10. Is that black or, or red? It would be black because red is white. Okay. So did you pull a black choker? Or? Yep. Sweet. And then you got 10, so you get 10. So my highest card goes away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you get one, right? You get one? Yeah, for, for this reason. Yeah, this part's if you didn't beat five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I guess I can be. Aces. Sure. Visit the bathroom. There you go. Got plenty of time because. Just got to wait for the horse to get out of the outhouse. Any okay. aces? Oh. Uh, it is going to disappear. It basically just kind of it lets go of that lantern, everything, and just okay, and disappears. And did that go away too? Yeah, and that okay. went away too. All right. Um, <laughs> Kings, you doing anything special? Loading out all the bullets and remaking equipment. Huh? Loading all the bullets and remaking equipment out of the basement now with the thing gone. So it doesn't burn it down and blow the fucking house to shit. Okay. You so see you're trying to gather stuff up and not trying, I am. Yeah, I mean you gather all the crates out of okay. and everything out of the basement. Uh pretty much right now, actually, what what are you guys kind of doing? It it, it vanishes. You guys aren't aren't there yet, but obviously you're gonna start I heard a gunshot, so I'm gonna basically run downstairs and Hold go on. out the back door and yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna get this shit out of this basement before it catches on fire. All right. I'll cough. Mm. All right. So I heard him. I'll go over there. I'll set it in, and I'm going to use. Oh, so we not in rounds then, or you know what? We are going to drop out of rounds. Okay. Because it, it does it does vanish, and it does seem to actually like stay away for right now. Okay. Cool. It got it had an ace, and pretty much you he couldn't do anything to you guys right then and there. Oh, okay. He was trying to get the lantern off. So he yeah. Away. So I'm going to use, I'm going to keep that up and I'm going to use fan figures right because they're, they're way about rounds. the person. Mm -hmm. the yeah. So I'm going to use that to like pick one of them up and chuck them outside okay. the ammunition. Basically, you kind of coming up and you can see something get chucked up out of that cellar door. You hear us? Like, you, you guys, you two of you over there. Wood on there as well. Yeah. One flies out by itself and I'm like one out with the lantern. What are you shooting at? <laughs> Goddamn spirit! Damn ghost trying to kill a uh, bow. Dead man, right? The dead old prospector or something other. He had his hand around the throat. I'm choking. He's trying to wrestle man in front of him. Yeah, and he so drops kerosene everywhere. What did you do to his daughter? <laughs> you can hear the horses 
up front towards the corral, the ones whoever you put your horses up there, they're starting to neigh. All right. Well, I'll I'll head head that way. Nay, nay. Okay. Nay, nay. I'm going to head that way. Okay. Run around the front. You start running up. You kind of run up there. Yours is out back, and it doesn't seem to be doing, doing yeah, anything. I'm going to use it again. This is probably another round. I'm going to use it to grab those papers okay. and bring them to me. Okay. So, because that was pretty much everything else in there was those papers other than the chemicals, right? How many boxes were there? There was two big boxes, but there was a lot of stuff on the table, too. Whether or not you need them or not, I don't know. Okay. With the weight of a person, could I just grab the whole table and bring the whole table out? Uh, it would actually spill stuff. Okay. So, that's up to you. Because there are jars and, and beakers and stuff on there, so if you were just to pick that up, it would they would jostle it. Yeah, yeah, you know, it'd be just the same as if some the human tried it was even if he was strong enough to yeah, pick yeah, it up, I, it would I be like you. you know, you. how many times do you try to move a table with a game board on and all the pieces went yeah. everywhere? Every time, perfect. Yeah. If I close my eyes, nothing happened. Um. All right. Well, he's out front, so I'll go down there, and I'm gonna. I'll cut off the phantom fingers. Okay. And then, um, so I just used two. But how many rounds do you, I could use to get the box out? Probably a round. A round. Yeah. I'll cut off it. Because it costs me a wind every round. So, oh, okay. So I threw the box out, and then I'll go down there. And I'll gather the papers up best I can and carefully, mm -hmm. and then hope nobody comes down there. So pretty much that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, as you kind of get up, <laughs> up front there, uh, you can see like the horses are basically spooked. Uh, the one black horse, it's actually kind of running rampant around kind of back and forth. Um, the others are kind of reacting to that one too. Um, you can see, uh, who all had horses up front. I did. Mine's, uh, my, mine's by the front door. Yours is by the front door, but your guys' is over by the corrals and everything. Mine was in the corral. Yours in the corral. Okay. So the two of you, uh, you do see your horses actually start to kind of run. It looks like they've, whatever you hitched it to, they're unhitched now. And they're kind of like running off down, uh, probably back towards Bo's area, actually. Okay. Well, do I see anything right offhand over by the corral? Not really, no. Okay, is there a chance that I could try and grab my the reins of the horse? You can try to. Uh, do you have any horse wrangling skills? Have, well, I have horse riding. You have horse riding, but not horse wrangling, but that's fine. Uh, actually, and I'm probably just going to use probably just nimbleness, though. Okay. Yeah, you're you're just gonna try and make it out, out just to make it outright nimbleless trying to get okay. a hold of the reins. All right. Uh probably the difficulty will probably be pretty high. So yeah. we'll say nine. nine. I'll be nice to say nine. Okay. <sighs> Eleven. Okay. Uh it, yours yours just happens to come right by you. Uh, make a strength roll now. Yeah. And there goes my arm. <laughs> Five. Make that five. Oh, no. <laughs> that one traveled. Traveled on that You remember what's average horse strength? You remember? I think it's like a D10 or depending on what kind of horse. Oh, it was probably, a, yeah, we'll say. What'd you roll? Five. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. You kind of grab it and you basically kind of hold it. You basically struggle with it. Yeah. Um, but you actually kind of hold it and it probably actually starts turning around and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so you're kind of actually kind of spent a little bit of time kind of right. with him. What about you? I'm loading stuff out of the cellar. Oh, you're still down. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you do see Kelvin's horse. Do you want to try and do anything or? Actually, I'm heading towards the corral. Okay, you kind of head over towards the corral. His horse kind of goes off, basically run past you as well. Help his horse. I just kind of keep an eye and see where maybe headed. Okay. And then I'm going to take my horse kind of away from the corral while watching 
once I get him calmed down, kind of lead him away from there, but I'm kind of watching to see if anything happens. Okay. I want to take him back toward the front of the house. Okay. Uh, you get up towards the corral, um, and you can see um, your, those horses in there are kind of basically kind of running wild. But as you kind of get closer, they kind of calm down a little bit. Yours kind of stays spooks and kind of actually probably wanders off into the barn and everything. Uh, the other horse, the black horse. Um, and the sheriff's horse, too. And the sheriff's horse. That one's actually, yeah, because that one, that one, she would have ran to because she was on the outside. Yeah. So, um, well, that was, he thought you said it, that it was in the corral. No, he had tied it No, he tied it off, off outside and then came into the corral. Um, so, but um, the black horse is still, it's kind of like uh, the way it's moving around. And kind of running and stuff. It's almost like it's it's looking at something out going back the way you guys came from, like the entrance to the farm, you know, the road that kind of comes. It's it's like it's like looking back over there, kind of go right. right over in that direction and kind of neigh, kind of lift its horse, its hooves up and everything. It's almost like it's not really terrified so much as it's just like angry, mm. you know, like it just being I angry itself, that. you know. <laughs> It's a fucking mailman. <laughs> uh, but once you kind of get over there, it does kind of slowly start to calm down. Well, I'm going to, if they're indicating a direction, I'm going to head that direction. Okay. You kind of head off in that direction. Do you do cast anything or anything like that? Or you just. I'm just okay. trying to see what's going on. Okay. You kind of, kind of head off on down down that trail um you're not really seeing anything um you don't really get any indication of anything that's moving out there either what do you do team just looking around seeing what's going on okay you kind of look around but you don't see anything um you've got your horse yeah and it's finally it started starts to calm down and everything uh woodlawn he kind of yeah, he will probably track down his horse and everything he'll probably go after kelvin's horse as well yeah try and get it so i saw trigger go out a direction just kind of start looking around yeah, he went back out up towards the front towards towards where you guys came in on that trail right okay. i kind of holler over you see anything Nothing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get mounted up on Peter Paul Mary and, okay. and go around to the back to make sure the horses don't bolt off in the woods. Okay. Like she didn't Peter Paul and Mary run as well. No. no, she was up front, so she front she was scared, but she didn't run or anything. It was a, and she was tethered up there. It was only the ones at the corral, at the not in the corral, but tied to the, tied to the corral. <laughs> It's almost like something, it wasn't like the bride, you know, the, the, they just came unbridled or whatever. They, it's like someone specifically Un unwrapped the yeah. reins and let them go. Mm. You guys are, you, whatever you want to do, you get stuff out of the front. You that pretty much finish that doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get, once I get that out, I'll just kind of wrap it up what do we do with the papers that you guys found in the house who has them omar or well as far as i know okay omar who's omar <laughs> that is me oh thank you very much <laughs> i don't think that's the right accent for omar <laughs> yeah i got it <laughs> um, I, I, looking at him I, I probably stuffed him in my cows like uh when, when you called for for down i ain't reading those now my no, he's like, isn't that, you know, they're from one of the guys. It's like this thing. Oh, give it all to me. Russian Cossack, you know. This is a Cossack. This is a Cossack. I know. I just can't. Uh, they're all of them, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> the bottles. That's not idea. The arrow. The shaft is an immovable rod. It somehow it activates once it hits, so it sticks into somebody, and then the immovable rod activates and it won't move. Oh, shit. So then they're stuck on it. Hmm. 
Ouch. That's kind of like that. Permanent pin cushion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it? The bag of holding arrow? Yeah. There was a portable hole on one side of the arrow and then a bag of holding that was open on the other side. So when you hit the portable hole, it go into the bag of holding and just fucking obliterate like the entire like huh. city, basically. Woodlawn, you probably help Woodlawn get the other two horses uh, all off and kind of bring them back. Uh, the other horses, the ones in the crowd now, are kind of kind of calm. I'll probably go around back see, because Bo's still in the basement. And are you still in the basement? No, they they They've come up right now. now. Oh, okay. Probably walking over to when you got that stuff up, like, mm-hmm. so what are you doing now? I went over to my horse. Okay. Grabbed it. Chris first from said, loving the hats we got going on tonight, Dennis and Dale. Yep. There we go, Howdy. Howdy. Well, I'll check on you guys. If you have the crates up, I'm like, so what is all this stuff? Well, there's reloading equipment, a shit ton of ammunition, and some armor plates, some metal plates, and some leather plate, leather straps, and blueprints, and mm-hmm. some sort of chemicals. Blueprints make some kind of uh, body, one uh, cast body cast body cast 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 mysteriously cracked open and spilled all over the basement floor. Immediately presage, or pres- presaging the wow. appearance of a ghost. Yeah, some old prospector. I-, I don't know who the hell he was, but he's trying to choke the life out of me. Maybe you're stealing his stuff. I don't know. I was stealing nothing. He shut the doors and tried to light us all on fire. If I was able to hold on that land, it would be Christopher Critters, and all this stuff would have been up in flames, including the whole house. I'm just saying, I don't remember Philip Monroe being any kind of scientist, fella. Or reloading weapons, for that matter. Right. Well, those papers we got seem more like his style. But... What papers? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, the papers you find upstairs. Uh, notes of uh, his investigations. Um, having to do with uh, mentioning several of the Prudy gang and some other folk who had been uh, informants and uh, uh, some other uh, items. I had to Is one. the handwriting look the same? Smarts. Don't do it, man. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, four. <laughs> Well, what's the target number? Because I may have gone bust. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was real low target. I just want to see yeah. how we... four was the highest. Uh, actually, n- no, it doesn't actually look the same. But you're not an expert either. No, I'm like yeah. just as you look at it, your first impression is okay. This does look different. Maybe that ghost was made. You're rummaging through his stuff. Don't know. What would a ghost be doing to with their blueprints? Uh, let's say we're from when he was that alive. It didn't seem half it was a ghost. It didn't seem like his blueprints were that old. Maybe he's not that. Maybe he hadn't been dead that long. <laughs> he looked pretty fucking dead. <laughs> Let me see those right real quick. Even that one I'm reading, I'll just read this. There's a so oh, yeah. Take you're probably taking that fellow's. There's a probably taking that fellow's reloading. There's a you gonna try to do the same thing he was? <laughs> well, I'm curious as who they'd be if they're not his. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick analysis to see. Okay. Um, go ahead and just make a smarts roll unless you have something like cryptology. Yeah, I have smarts writing. Smarts, smarts writing. Smarts identifying writing. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. So just use smarts. Yeah. Okay. Well, what was the reporter we're looking for again? Philip Monroe. I said, have we seen Monroe's handwriting? No, not specifically. Okay. Whose handwriting is this in there? Well, you're assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming. It's Philip it's Monroe. Monroe. Okay. Just because Actually, it's Microsoft things. Word. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seven. Just, just because you, you got find seven? things that's being written about... It looks kind of similar, but it also looks a little bit different. There's a few things. If you were an expert, you would probably say these aren't the same. But you're, the way you're looking at it, it looks somewhat similar, but there's an error, a percentage of error. 
that you're not comfortable with. I can't tell who's this. Uh, who wrote these? I don't know. Don't think it was this guy. The person we think wrote these. That is. Well, I'm just saying whether this is no, Philip and Roe or not, but the uh, fellow who wrote the blueprints might be that fellow you just encountered for stealing this stuff. So if you want to take his lead reloading equipment, you carry it on your horse. And I walk away. <laughs> I go, <laughs> kind of mount up and like, well, let me know when we're leaving. <laughs> well, kind of like looking around like, I well, plan on taking take it, none. It's just getting out of the bait, so don't freaking burn the place to the ground. Yeah, well, I don't live here. <laughs> a whole bunch of bullets and a whole bunch of fire don't mix well. So I plan on leaving. Weekly. It's clear Philip ain't here. All right. Maybe go and check out this Emerald Hill situation. Mm, it's in the north. And it's, kids are say, supposedly saying it's a spooky spot. Yeah, well, this was a but, spooky uh, spot. <laughs> Just keeps getting spookier. And if there's a spooky spot, what better time to visit it than nighttime? In the middle of the night. I look at the marshal and I go, well, do you know what this Emerald Mound or this... Underhill or is? Underhill. Yeah. Underhill. That's well, Underhill is the, the lower section of the town. He's oh. from Hobbit. Yeah. Rotten Hill is uh is the rich part. Underhill's the Well, we gotta find this prance and pony, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the thing we're already trying to do. Yeah, well, uh, prance yeah and he goes from Green Mountain, just an old old uh, Indian site. Uh it's uh, 12, 13 miles away. It's a good ride. It's north of here, though. But the, the Emerald Not, Hill. Uh, it's right off the Anchez Trace. So uh, it's relatively easy to find. Well, we either go do that gentleman or we uh, tried to bed down for the night. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we should head back to town. Don't forget. And Miss Namia said that she was going to have some stuff. Yeah, for us too. Besides the stuff here in town to look into, according to these papers. So let's check out the mound and get back to town. Well, I said we go back to town and check out the mound tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, if that's is, okay with you, nice, get a nice sleep after this and, and head off. You look first. pretty rough, Bill. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm feeling kind of rough. It tastes kind of rough, too. Don't ask. Was there anything in the bomb or anything else? Didn't see nothing. Uh, we, oh. could probably, All right. we could probably All right. recheck it on the way again. You're going to take us back. I'm going to cast Hunch. You're going to cast Hunch? Okay. Let me talk to the cigarette first, though. I'll roll until I get it. Backlash. That's good. You got another 10? Mm. Yeah, I did. 17. Mm. 18. One. Last couple. Eighteen be what? I get my five. And I get ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ooh, we're so close. Yeah, it was almost a full house, but almost oh. a flush or straight. Nothing. Boopkiss. Oh, you already put him on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was six, seven, nine, ten, Jack and King. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If I had an eight, it'd have been perfect. Yeah. That would have been awesome. like the Uber Super yeah. place. I suppose I can try one more time. Good. I tried, I hold the prints and I hold the papers, I guess. The those papers. It's usually you think about it, an oh, object yeah. or a person, so. Fifteen. 
Did you say there was a goose that was second boat? Yes. Terrific. Red Joker, good or bad? Good. good. We would have needed three dead. jacks. Ooh, three of a kind. Yeah. Three jacks at least. We would need some, uh, some okay. magic or something divine to uh, do the magic today. Seven for your cold roll. No, for my spell steam roll. Oh, <clears throat> because the uh, Argent Agony they last 50 minutes. Oh, 50 minutes? Yeah, so it's okay. like, okay, what does that do? Enchanted silver bullets. Oh, okay, that yeah. works. Yep, definitely. I described him too, what he looked like, and both versions. Can you say I saw him he was a corpse, but I saw him he was like just an old feller, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Then. 15. 20. Five. Let's see, what can I make? Now, well, who was who the guy that we took down? Feeny. No, on the boat? That wasn't Feeny. Oh, on the boat? I don't know. Does anybody remember his name? The guy on the boat? When we, fit, we physically took down, or you're talking about the thing that had uh, a ball of light and flit down the river? Well, the same person. Yeah, that was Feeney. Yeah, that was Feeney. That was Feeney. Yeah, yeah, that was Feeney. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, two pair. I have three enchanted silver bullets. Okay. Nice. Pair of twos. I failed on... <laughs> I mean, I didn't get anything when I tried the prints, but I, holding these papers, I got three, of a, three jacks. Okay, what is that allow? Um... That tells me that exactly the location of St. Purdy. <laughs> now, were you holding both of them at the same time? No, I tried the paper, the okay. blueprints, and I focused on them. Okay. I had done cast Argent Agony, so I have three enchanted silver bullets right now. Okay. Hey, Dennis, did you tell them all or ask for anything like that? Yeah, which would you prefer? The better the hunter stand, the better oh, information she gets from the target's history. Marsha decides just what information is imparted. Uh, okay, it's three of kind is pretty high on the list. The okay. next, the next one up is a straight. So, okay. like for Howl, it'd be three D eight. Okay. Um, basically, you kind of cast hunch on that. Um, it is clearly you see. An image coming into your mind. It is of yeah. Monroe. Uh, he's sitting uh, probably at on the couch. The couch has still got the, the sheets on. He doesn't even bother to move those. He's, he's just working. Upstairs. No, downstairs in the living room there. The oh, floor. the main floor. The main, the okay. main floor there. Um, and you can see he's probably, looks like he's transcribing. You know how a journalist will have the little notebook where oh, okay. he does that. And now he's like compiling all these. He's writing down this stuff. He's yeah, going yeah. through other little stuff, all the different notes he has, and he's kind of writing that down, and he'll stop, and he's thinking, and you're, you're just basically kind of seeing him working, but you, you can tell it is obviously Philip Monroe who's writing that right there. Okay. And you just kind of get the impression he spends a lot of time burning midnight oil, basically researching stuff, all the little notes he has. He, you can see him going back. Looking at the scribbling notes, notes that he's already looked at once, he'll go back and look at it again and basically ponder, and then he'll start writing stuff, and you can see him. He'll write something, and then he'll, he'll ball up and throw it away and stuff, and then start on something else and write down some new stuff or anything. I kind of go, uh, we'll have to reroute, I have to 
This is Monroe. This is Monroe holding these and downstairs on the sofa. Always picking out his nose. Got to keep it straight. Frustrated. This is Monroe. Monroe did this. All right. Hmm. Well, at least you know he was alive at some point down here. What about them blueprints, bro? I couldn't get nothing. I almost mm -hmm. tasted it. Got away. You can always try again. You know, Mouse Seeker sent everybody's withered hats on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> withered hats? Withered, withered hats. hats. Withered hats. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're not through the ring. Put our hats on. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a hat. Wear them if you got them. I never took mine off. 19. You're doing the blueprints again or something? I'll try. I'll try the blueprints. Damn. Are they? Yeah, I just hurt them bad. Mm. I, I, I put my pants back on. <laughs> I got an appointment with the eye doctor in June. Oh, that's oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you had to wait that long? The 19th of May. Even if it was an emergency, I'd have to wait on you. Unless I go to, you know. Emergency. So there I got a pair. A pair of jacks. So. Okay. Uh, so you kind of do it again and hold those blueprints and everything. Um, <clears throat> you actually probably... Uh, see some other location uh similar to kind of like the cellar down below it looks like it's somewhere subterranean somewhere hidden out of the way um and you can can see uh what looks to be like philip monroe but he looks a little bit different doesn't look different but he seems to have a different kind of demeanor to him okay uh and he does looks like he is kind of like pouring over just like he does with the paperwork that you saw before you see him kind of pouring over blueprints kind of writing stuff but he's not looking at books or anything he it's just like he's he'll just kind of like work on something and then stop and concentrate and then he'll start working again on something and as you're kind of watching this, you can't really see anything particular that he's working on. It's just like working on blueprints. Okay. And as you're kind of like watching it, you get this really weird feeling at the back, back of the base of your neck, mm -hmm. like, like uh, right, something kind of scratching, scratching you, mm -hmm. scratching you, and then you kind of start hearing these whispers and these voices, and you get the same sort of feeling like. Whenever you cast a hex, sometimes. You know, oh, like he's like like there's something else out there. Possession. Ah, or possession. Like the mana tower or something. It's like like mana tower or something, but you're not too sure. It doesn't feel quite the same. And then you Should actually I roll my occult to think about weird mad science or something like that. You can you can do that. I got a seven. Okay. Seven and a one. Okay. Um, I'll say that's kind of good enough it, since you're a huckster you kind of know a lot of people other than the blessed a lot of people that have these powers they're usually sometimes they're usually mostly dealing with Manitow in some way you know that so so like even mad scientists they kind of deal in Manitow it's just not it's just not as obvious as like hucksters mm -hmm. or black magicians and stuff right um but as you're kind of thinking about that and everything, the vision gets really blurry. And it's not like the vision's ending or anything. It's like almost like someone's trying to block it. Hmm. You know? And then you kind of kind of get a, a little bit of a jolt to your head. Like someone just kind of thumped you. Oh, okay. And it doesn't hurt bad, but it's just more like maybe trying to make you lose lose concentration right, right. and then it, it just kind of dissipates and what and was roll and roll roll your smart 
My what? Roll, roll your. Uh, I'll tell you what. Take your your die type. Your your number of dice for Cole. Okay. With the um, the attribute of your smarts. I got a five. Five. Okay. Eat. That's all there is. Okay. Uh, I shake my head. Five. What was his name again? I'm sorry. Philip Monroe. Well, anybody think Monroe was in the hooks room, a mad scientist or anything like that? Don't know. Yeah. Not out there, out no way there, no. You know about that sort of thing, right? Mad science. Some would say it's mad science along with the steam bunk the, the steam sink. Steam engineering, yes. Yeah. Steam bunk engineering. <laughs> well, I hand you the the prints again. So look over these. Do these look like something of that sort of nature? Well, I, th I think you said that the uh, uh, blueprints were more of kind and of I explain, body, body armor kind of thing. I explained out. Well, I think what he's asking, are they of the nature of a mad scientist? Ah, okay. Well, in uh, which case, go ahead and roll your mad scientist. Okay. And I'll kind of mention that what I saw in the vision. You guys are paying attention. I just, uh, you know, it seemed like he was listening uh, to something that he made before and going back and forth. Um, but that scratch and I possibly the back of my skull is like the man tiles when they're trying to reach into your soul, take control. Sometimes he, he, even in those as a matter of fact, you know, once the blueprints are done, it's not like they're imbued with anything. You know, it's just how you came across it. You know, so once it's done, it's it's just a blueprint. Yeah. You know. Can't really tell the bill. Tell there, Bo. Well, I could just sense when he was looking over and making them, he was concentrating and like whispering and hearing things. I don't know if that's what you hear when you make such a device, but it was almost like when I'm trying to cast a hex, the man is trying to scratch in, take control, but whispering, telling me the ways of hmm. ways of wanting to do something. Uh, just not really sure, Bo. Just not really sure at this time. Hmm. Maybe he was some sort of mad scientist. Never struck me as a type. Well, usually those mad scientist types go around showing their inventions to anybody who care to look. What was or he not. trying to make? Some kind of body armor. That was the one. But you remember there was also the, the earplugs, too. Oh, the uh, kind of like an earplug thing. Um, maybe, um, maybe uh, trying to... Um, uh, put down the the sounds from the uh, uh, ghost rock, you know, those screamings and everything, maybe to uh, help uh, prevent hearing that, or... Um, was that something you... Think he, did he finish it, or is that... Uh, no, the, the, the plans, I don't know if he had actually built it, so that, or no, it would have worked, or... You you do know that the, whatever that, like, the final formula and stuff it was, mm -hmm. and he did have... I sat there mm. in that petri dish. That's what you were looking at. Okay. And from what you could tell, that wasn't finished. And you know that you could tell that that was something that was actually being worked on here. Whereas that other stuff was something was will probably work on elsewhere. And then he only brought some of the blueprints with him. Yeah. Well, that would make sense because I I sense it was somewhere else he was making that sort of thing. Yeah, and he made the airplanes keep the I uh, wish there was such a thing. In any kind of sense of what, where, what direction, or distance, or anything? No, just subterranean. I don't like that too, Jack. No. <laughs> I will give you... Remember, he's from San Angelo, and he did bring all... He had all this stuff shipped from San Angelo. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, I, go, I can't hand you... You've got the blueprints. I'll go back there and get them. Might as well have them if you made all this effort. I'll quickly oh, run well, down there. Up, on the ground. Yeah, pretty much everything. Well, that was on the table. Oh, okay. I didn't get yeah. the papers. Oh, so I'll go back down. I'll yeah. grab those. Anything yeah. like that. I'll just I'll keep them in the bowl because I don't know if I should touch them. Yeah. So, so I'll bring them back up and then. Yeah. What kind of can you have on those? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there are just like all of these. There might be some old can stuff. I don't know any. I don't know what stuff would last for very long. Um, 
canned properly and last for years. I think they could, so like pickles. I think uh, they dry pickles. Uh, I don't know what other stuff they would can back then. You said man, that prospector goes to eat. They can pickles. Huh? You don't can pickles. Those are jarred. 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 Well, I no, I'm sorry. Jarred. Jarred. Okay. You know. Usually it's like tomatoes and. Well, I've done beets uh, and eggs, beets. And green beans yeah. and heads. It's corn. basically like some of that stuff. Most most of it's empty. A lot of it's just been there. There's there's a jar full of nails, too. You know, I mean, there's just whatever someone might find. But then when they decide, for whatever reason, whoever leased this out, maybe someone lived here before, and then they died, and then someone inherited it, and so now they just lease it out, but they never came and cleared anything out, you know? So the Marshall yeah. study is there, right? Yeah. So this Hi, Jar, pick the beach. That's Marshall painting. And it's missing infants. You know anything about that? You ever hear anything about that? Well, he was discussing it before. That's what uh, him and uh, the Marshall in town. Monroe. Yeah, it's the Marshall in town. He was talking about infants being missing from from there. And they thought maybe they were connected, but uh, then they said he said that the Monroe thought they was something different altogether. And that's when they stopped working together. I see, I see. Hmm. Because apparently Purdy just takes women, not kids or babies. I know Marshall Payton, we were talking about it a little bit when I went over that shipping place. And he our... seems pretty perplexed about it because he doesn't really have a clue what's going on. Hmm. Seems to be rather common. Not having a clue what's going on. Right. Well, it's kind of some weird... Shit. <laughs> that make a mandatory girl and take out a whole banner and hit her full page ad say, this is what we'd be doing. <laughs> I wonder, too, if one of these fallen spirits here on his list is what we just saw. That's what I was wondering. I seem to have missed that, a fallen spirit. The one we saw on? in the basement. Maybe right. one of... Could have been one of Purdy's men that died that he was tracking down. Yeah, came here to mm. silence it out than anybody else. Yeah, because you remember the other two, Feeny somehow stayed immortal yeah. through his black magic, but the other guy was some sort of abomination. Yeah. Right. And if it happened all those years ago, maybe that's why it looks so old. Yeah, Rob's an old corpse. Now you don't, no, he's, he's still, I don't know if he's still here, but, you know, the horses got scared, what happened? Somebody unhitched him, the ones outside the crowd. So it could have been that ghost. Could be they got spooked by it. The stories about dogs and cats that act weird when there's a spirit around. I mean, not, not familiar with that sort of stuff. You know. Well, you all got tracking. I mean, did you look around and see how long it's been since we've been here? I know we pretty much trampled over everything, but I was wondering. Have we done any good tracking a ghost? No, no. Per Philip, Philip, if he'd been here, how long it's been since somebody had been around this place? I guess it depends on where he went. Uh, yeah. well, I'm just saying he ain't been here for a couple of weeks, so maybe a couple of days. Copper just throws his hands up. I'll look around. And he just starts like looking at the ground. He's like, I, you know arc. which way he went? With your hunches? Did he go this way? Did he go out that way? It's, it it, it way? is possible you could probably, but. Maybe find some clues, but you probably have to do it in daylight. Yeah. It's like, there's a lot of ground to cover, but I don't think we're going to find it. No. I don't know. I just didn't know how long it's been since he'd been here. Uh, I, I think perhaps we need to just take your information and get back to town and have a good night's rest and check yeah. with uh, ma ma Mama Gambia in the morning and uh, then head out back this way and check out that uh, Emerald Hill. Well, it's Burroughs Mansion or this. Irish Lass. Hmm. Irish Lass sounds like somebody you might want to talk to. <laughs> I'll interrogate her deep. Yeah, come for, for some information. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely interrogate Make sure her. you're a paying customer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That part? I saw that. I didn't have to roll no hunch to see what I got to do there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boner for information, that's for sure. And I can tell 
I can tell Kyle this is all part of the mission. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're uncomfortable, maybe Olaf can offer some Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make some Irish uh, stew out of it. I think uh, maybe we do, you can, do a you double can, interrogation. Yeah, you can team up together. That's right. You can oh, take it from that end, and I'll get it from this end. You can't run away. You can wash if you want. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm good. I got I got this here uh telegraph site. Telegraph site. It, it you get every oh, move. It's, tap, tap, tap. it's called U tap. Ah uh, uh, oh yeah. It's New called baby. Tele <laughs> teleport. Teleport. Yeah, tap, tap. What's happened? I did must cut the line. Damn it, I don't know what happened next. <laughs> And it did what with the cabbage? I think the green was on the fly. Yeah, I'm gonna say, wait till the green is in all of that. Yeah, I'll be There's some of the horse, and uh, I don't know. I got really weird after that. I guess we'll head back, right? Okay. Yeah, head back to town. Back. And you want to pause here? Oh, yeah, yeah, good, good place. Good stopping point. You hold on to these? Yeah, if you want to yep. just want to keep all that stuff here. Yeah. Cool. All right. That way, if it's not here next week, we know who to blame. Yes, yes. that's right. I would blame me anyway. Map this. <laughs> or talk to it. All right, right folks. Well, then, and next Tuesday for more, I guess, Dead Man, yes. Yeah. Should be able to do pretty much a good person. Next Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, sounds good to me. Tune into all of our channels if you'd like to. Check out our, U our uh, link tree. We have our YouTube and all of our other links to all of our outside things like Studio 220, Kelsey Health Productions, Dragon's Den, Mysteries, Music, Magic, and Mischief. And thanks for tuning in tonight, folks. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.